I guess so. So start them off with your saying. Hey girls. What is up you guys? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Danielle Carolyn. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And this is my dad, Fred. Some people call him Freddy. Some people call him Fred. Some people call him Frederick. Some people, what else do people call you? Sir. Sir. Good old sir. So today, my dad and I are going to be filming a video. <laughs> I was literally just hanging out in my room and I was in a talkative mood and my dad was downstairs cooking dinner and I texted him and I go, hey dad, come upstairs. Little did he know, he was gonna sit right down here and make a video and he goes, I'm not prepped. I'm like, what, did you not do your makeup? Like, So dad, there's this article that I found online called seven slang words you need to know in 2017. Do you think you're pretty hip? Do you think you know the stuff? No, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, well, I mean, you can at least show him that you know how to dab. He likes to show the guns and said, come on, you gotta give him a real one. Why can't I? <laughs> Meaning half. Oh. Okay. Here oh. We go. Yeah. Nice. Good job. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go through this list, and I'm gonna ask my dad what he thinks these words mean, and I'm gonna try not to laugh. <laughs> Word number one is savage. What does it mean in slang term? Like if I say something savage. Hip. <laughs> Yo, that shirt is savage. That's what you think it means? Um, no. This says, do, have you done something totally cool and out there? Describe it to your friends as savage and watch as they look really confused but also pretty impressed. If you like go up to someone and say, hey, I don't like your shoes. Like that was really savage of you. Like how could you say that? Like it's just really like, oh my gosh, you did not just do that. Like that was so bold. Oh, okay. So give me a sentence when you would say savage now. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not getting in front of the camera. <laughs> the next word is low key. Mellow. Mellow? Mellow? Yeah. Are you mellow right now? Yeah, I'm trying to be. Low key means when you're secretly enjoying something, you're low key loving it. Essentially, it just means kind of down low. Like, I'm low key kind of happy right now. But, like, you don't want people to know you're, like, high key happy. I get it. Yeah. The next word is hundo P. Give it a guess. Hundo P. I have no idea whatsoever what that means. If you totally agree with something someone says, you agree with it 100%. Or if you're a millennial, you agree a hundo P. Or like Hana. Okay, the next word is dead or dying. In slang though, not, oh my God, his heart rate just went I, down. It's so funny you cracked me up. It's, I'm dead or dying over that shit. Hey! Nice! Not to be confused with physically not being alive anymore, dead and its cousin dying are 2017's way of saying you're so shocked slash delighted entertained it's figuratively killed you. Kind of like dying from laughter except not actually dying because that would be both tragic and impossible. Okay, the next word is extra. Like, like what you just did is so extra. So beyond the ordinary. So amazing. Like, kind of. D extra means someone who's over the top or trying too hard. Knowing this might even force you to realize yourself are extra about something. Like, the Kardashians say it a lot. Like, that's so extra. Like, she did not need to go all the way to just get a lipstick. Like, that's so extra. That was a bad example, but. What does DM mean? What does it stand for? Like, I'm gonna slide into your DMs. Danielle Marie. No, not Danielle Marie, but good try, good try. Direct messages, like if someone like uh, direct messages you on Twitter, it's like they're sliding into your DMs, like they're trying to like hit you up. The phone's ringing. Phone. The phone is ringing. The last word is goat. Like Freddy is the goat. He's the man. He's, he's like cool, top dog. Have you heard that word before? Yes, I have. Has Freddy said it before? It's an old word. Oh, really? What does it stand for? Get out. <laughs> it's around for a long Get time. Get out. <laughs> no, GOAT stands for greatest of all time. So, like, yeah, that yeah. man is the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. And then what's the WOAT? Worst of all time. <laughs> so, it can go either ways. 
I'm the goat, he's the woat. Yes, well, I'm obviously not up to the latest slang here. It's okay, if you were up to the latest slang, this video would have been really bad. If this slang was from the 1960s or 70s, I might have had a better chance. Give me a slang word for the night. Do you have any that you know that I wouldn't know? Groovy. Groovy, man. <laughs> so that completes yeah. today's video. My dad did, you know, he, he knew a few. I would have been a little concerned if he knew all of them, to be honest, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and welcome my dad to the channel. Comment down below if you want us to do another video, and what video we should do. Okay, good night, girls. <laughs> Go study, do your homework. He's hungry. <laughs> Alright, if you guys like this video. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye-bye. Let's take a thumbnail picture. Oh. You said thumbnails. Go, you do this. <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs>